In this video, I'm going to be breaking down a really good complement to uh, a lot of the concepts that exist within Gun Bunch. This is going to be specifically designed um, to really help attack in the middle of the field. Now, uh, what you're going to see in this game is when people start to play Bunch and they start to use a lot of corner routes, What's going to happen is people are going to start to want to double Mabel or they might want to basically try to overplay the corner route in some way. And what this is going to do offensively is this is going to open up the middle of the field. And so I'm going to break down a play that is going to be specifically targeting the middle of the field today for you guys out of the West Coast playbook. Um, if you want to get my full West Coast offensive ebook just dropped yesterday, um, we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite plays in the game right now, and that is the play Deep Attack out of the West Coast Bunch. Now, uh, we have a ton of setups for you uh, in our ebook. Just going to give you kind of a, a little bit of a concept that you can use and again the whole purpose is to try to attack the middle of the field to open then open up the sidelines right because bunch is really good with corner routes there's a lot of really good corner routes in bunch but there's not a lot of good post routes that's why west coast bunch i think is so powerful and it's also why the play deep attack is is really 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 valuable for this for this uh formation so the setup is basically this. We're just going to come out in it. We're going to streak our slot receiver. We're going to drag our tight end. And we're going to slant our outside bunch receiver. So you see this is the setup. We already have the running back blocking. We can create whatever pass protection we want. And we're just going to basically motion the slant out a step or two and snap the ball. And what you're going to see is... Um, this slant route, wow, Keanu Neal alert me. Um, the slant route is going to be a really consistent man beater over the middle of the field, as is this tight end route. So, again, here's your setup. Um, let's see if we can not throw the ball to the wrong team this time. But you'll see here, the first read is going to be the drag. If you can hit the drag, um, it's really smart to take the drag. Now, in bunch, generally speaking, you want to make sure that everyone on the right side of the screen has. Uh, short and elite. So all of your receivers in bunch, you should have short and elite on all of them. Ideally, your outside receiver has route tech if you can afford Jerry Rice. If you can't afford Jerry Rice, then uh, Jamar Chase or even Heinz Ward was short out elite, I think. It just depends. If you're going to run more wide side bunch, you want short out elite. If you're going to run more short side bunch, you would want short in elite. Okay. Uh, but as you see there, that post, that's one of the main reasons to pick this play, is that post does such a good job um, of consistently beating man, and it actually beats man in multiple ways. You'll see here, if you look to the left side, as soon as he cuts inside, I can freeform that inside, and I can beat man coverage quick to the middle. Now, you got to also understand that most defenses, right, they're going to be, you know, doing some variation of this. So he's, he's going to kind of already be kind of in this area, if you will, as the user. And so if he bites down to the drag, right, then we're going to progress either to our slant or to our post. If he bites down to, or if he, if he carries, uh, if he carries the post, so here's an example of him carrying the post, then you're going to want to either hit your drag or you're going to want to hit your slant. So you see here, he carries the post, so I take my slant. Okay, very simple. So this is a really good play against man-to-man, -man, but it's also really good, um, and it's actually, I think, even better against zone. So uh, what I, I wanted to do this uh, with you guys, show you this little um, double Mabel concept. So if they are running a double Mabel coverage, right, then your job is to basically if the game will cooperate, they're going to be sitting in the middle of the field. So you see this is what a Mabel, double Mabel coverage looks like. If I try to throw this corner route to the right side, you'll see this cloud will drop back with it as long as it's backed off. Now, it, it kind of honestly, and you saw right there some of the problems with zone this year, um, is that they just literally don't get to where they're supposed to go. 
So what the defense is going to have to do if they want to stop this corner is they're going to have to basically base a line and back off their cloud flat. So it's honestly kind of a dead giveaway that they're probably in a double Mabel coverage, which kind of gives you the tools that you need uh, to know when to call this. You see there, I can't throw my corner. I can't throw my, my flat as good as I could normally against a zone coverage. So if they give you a look like this, that's really clearly communicating, hey, I am in you know a double Mabel coverage or zone coverage, this becomes a really good, a really, really, really good play. So what you'll see is we're going to, again, run that concept like this. And you're just going to take what the defense gives you. Uh, the, middle, the whole middle of the field is open. I really want to encourage you to look to that post route. That post route is going to get open at several different points um, in the play. And then the other thing that I want you to see with this is depending on how they use the middle of the field, it's going to, um, you know, you could put this tight end on an in route as well if you wanted to do something a little slower. But the middle field right in that little area is going to open up as well. So they have to, you, they have to use her the post to stop it because you have a clear out like streak route. So they have to use her the post to stop the post. What this does is now the user is in the middle of the field, kind of almost at no man's land. And you got to understand, there's no zone in the middle of the field that they can rely upon to stop any of the things that we have coming over the middle. So your your in route should be open here. And then look at this. Look how open that slant is if they're going to go user that post. So that's why this concept, I think, is super effective um, against some of the different metas that we're going to be facing going into the future in Madden. Uh, I think deep attack is positioned to be one of the most powerful plays in the second half of the Madden 23 season. And the reason is because of the fact that the post route is so good against man and zone, and it perfectly complements all of the other concepts in bunch to make it one of the most effective plays in the game. Now, if you want to get my full West Coast Bunch offensive ebook, the reason I think that West Coast is such a needed and powerful bunch is because it kind of fits the entire scheme of bunch nice and tight within one formation and gives you the best routes um, that complement each other really, really well in this year's game. So if you want to get my full West Coast Bunch ebook, please make sure you go down to the description and join the Patreon. The link is down below. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.